Hello guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to measure customer acquisition in Google Analytics 4. But before we begin, please hit that like button to show us your support and help our videos reach more people. Now let's get started. The acquisition reports provide information about where your traffic originates. It helps determine where your website or app users are coming from. If you know where most of your customers are coming from, it helps you decide where you need to improve or where should you focus on getting more traffic and customers. You may notice that the acquisition is separated into user acquisition and traffic acquisition. The acquisition gives a quick review of the top channels sending visitors to your website. Example of traffic sources are Google, Baidu, or Bing. It also shows which channels drive the most traffic. The acquisition gives a quick review of the top channels sending visitors to your website. The acquisition overview summarizes your acquisition data to help understand your traffic. The user acquisition shows the information about where the new users or customers or web traffic are coming from. Traffic acquisition shows the information about where new sessions are coming from. When you check the overview, it shows the total users and the new users on your site. The users in the last 30 minutes shows the real-time traffic that is received on your site. It also shows users per minute by a graph so you can easily view the number of traffic redirected to your site at a glance. It shows the top countries where your traffic is coming from. It also shows the number of users in summary in the last 30 minutes. The new users show the channel by which the user was first acquired. Channel groupings are rule-based definitions of your site's traffic sources that let you monitor the performance of all channels sending traffic to your site. Let's check out the user acquisition page. The user scope dimensions show you where your new users are coming from. If the first user source dimension has a value of organic, it shows the users who landed on your website for the first time through an organic search, such as Google Search. For example, the data shows that there are 1,480 first-time users who discovered your site using organic search, and there's more than 3,000 sessions that lasted longer than 10 seconds or had a conversion event or more than two screen or page views. In this example, the engagement rate is 65.9%. The engagement rate shows the percentage of engaged sessions in relation to the number of sessions. Next, the engaged sessions per user shows the number of page views and conversion events for every user shown here. The average engagement time shows the length of time that a user stays on your app or website. In this example, the average day of users is about 10 minutes. Now let's go to the traffic acquisition page. It shows the graph of users who discovered your site using these actions. Below, the legend for the graph shows the color and the source. This graph shows the session default channel grouping over time. If you place your mouse over a point in this graph, it shows the data and the summary of the number of users for each source. You can also concentrate on one source to show in the graph. Just click on one of these. Or you can also compare multiple sources. Just click on another source. This graph shows the total number of users per source. You can change this default primary dimension to session source. It will show the website sources. You can also add a secondary dimension here. This shows the total number of active users from this website. Session counts as the action triggered when a user opens your app in the foreground, views a page or screen, and no session is currently active. The engaged session lasted longer than 10 seconds, and it also shows the total number of engaged sessions in the session source. If you need to unlock a fresh and high-quality traffic source that 99% of your competition hasn't exploited yet, we have a marketing app that can help your business get more high-quality traffic. It's called Vidscribe AI. You can automatically create subtitles in your video with any language you choose, automatically redub videos in the language of your choice, and get local language captions for your videos for higher rankings. Vidscribe accepts both videos from your computer or YouTube URLs. It automatically transcribes, but you can modify and change anything you want. Automatic translation in a matter of seconds. 
overlay subtitles, and modify the colors and background to your translated texts. Redub audio. To match the dialogue pace to give you the best quality redub, upload online and send it to your YouTube or Facebook accounts and enjoy your videos with subtitles. So try Vidscribe now. Go to the URL vidscribe.in slash sales. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.